what's up guys it's Gage from Energy. so going through all the Breakers of Shadows releases more the fact when it was announced in the OCG I kind of missed a couple of really awesome cards that I just didn't go over with you guys and I can't deprive that of you guys because some of these cards that I skipped over just didn't talk about are pretty awesome one of which being of course Burying Mirror Force which is right in front of me here and it's a really awesome Mirror Force legacy card as we've been getting in the past few sets with Blazing and Storming and regular Mirror Force and it's just something I want to talk about because it's more unique than anything so let's go over it's Burying Mirror Force a normal trap card when an opponent's monster declares an attack change as many attack position monsters your opponent controls as possible to face down defense position and if you do battle positions are the ones changed by this effect cannot be changed that's really unique and really awesome and i really am a huge fan of this card so what are its applications of course being one of the more unique mirror forces and the fact that it's not technically monster removal i mean we had a storming mirror force blazing and regular mirror force dark mirror force just doesn't count but all these mirror forces before this one all had some form of monster removal uh, whether it be destruction or bouncing back to the hand which is also monster removal if you ask me so it all it would clear the board that would be the main thing with mirror forces before this one however doesn't clear the board but it does in fact lock out the board which is really neat if you ask me flipping all your monsters face down and just having them not be able to be used by your opponent is unique nonetheless and it's not necessarily a monster removal, only to a degree, because of course we all know flipping monsters face down, Some most of the time defense stats aren't as impressive as attack stats nowadays. So with cards like Good Witch, Book of Moon, these cards end up became ways to get rid of big monsters that you couldn't before. So that's an application with this, but I'm looking more deep into it. We think of it, and one of the more interesting applications is like in a deck like Burning Abyss, where if your opponent attacks with a full board even or even just a couple of burning abyss monsters on the field if they attack you can flip all of them face down and then they literally just can't summon burning abyss monsters because uh as we all know with burning abyss if you have a face down monster and you try to summon something it just kind of self-destruct because you don't control a burning abyss monster or you control something that's not a burning abyss monster so that's just an interesting application on the surface of the card and the fact that they can't flip them around is really interesting too which brings me to the fact where it's not necessarily like i said monster removal but it is a significant it is a really powerful stalling capability and the fact that if your opponent cannot remove their own monsters on the field they're kind of just stuck with a board and it, you punished them for overextending or flooding their board which is really awesome if you ask me because they're gonna have to start ne negging themselves by getting rid of their own resources to just clear a board space and that's where it kind of comes uh, a collapsing ground if you ask me where it locks out uh, monster zones on your opponent's board of course the monsters are still there but they can't be used for what you really intend them to be used for so that's really really awesome if you ask me uh, like I said before with the applications of Burning Abyss, there's probably more of those small applications that I can think of, but just the big picture of being a uh, an awesome unique mirror force where it stalls your opponent out and it forces them to use their own resources for things they probably just don't want to use them for is something I'm really fond of. I really like it a lot. Uh, but as far as the other mirror forces we have, is this the best one? I don't think so. I just think regular blazing and storming probably outshine this one. But this one is definitely unique nonetheless, and I think it will be seeing some play. I think somebody is at least going to try it out because it's definitely worthy of that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of burying mirror force. Do you think it has a whole bunch of potential or do you think it's just, meh, it's okay? I really like the card, but I want to know what you guys think. So yeah, if you guys want to buy or sell products, if you want to attend high-level events, and if you want to read articles like the Tops of Top of Players, all throughout the games.com is a place to go check out. Our state championships are this weekend, if you guys aren't catching it. Um, I'm telling you, Thursday slash Friday, I don't know when I'm going to post this, probably today. But uh, yeah, they're coming up, and they are in the energy format, if you guys are unaware. I'll be making a video on this, actually, uh, just kind of outlining of what's going to be good uh, coming for your state championship coming this weekend. So it's really exciting stuff. Uh, and if you guys can attend it, there's going to be uh, d uh, locations. I was about to say dates, but locations down in the description below on our website. You guys can check out the locations of your state championship. And hopefully there's one near you guys. But yeah, be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But as always, you know, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Gator Mayor G, signing out.